What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. Yes, we are doing it again. We are going to take the toxic head and give it a shot. Um, whenever I filmed that video, there was like 200 comments or more and it was split right down the middle. 50-50, yes, try it again. Um, or no, do not mess with them. Uh, and then I had one of you guys, I had a viewer send me uh, the package of these which I appreciate very much. And if you guys want to continue to like send me letters or notes or um, broad, whatever, my PO box is down in the description below. Um, and also my email is down below there as well if you guys would like to contact me. But yeah, I have a brand new Toxic here. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna take a few shots at the, the target right down there, starting at about 20 yards because that's how far my shot is gonna be tonight. And we are going to be flinging a TSA silence in the 250 spine. It's a four millimeter arrow. They will be linked down in the description below. The Stock Archery is the name of the company. And I'm very excited to work with them. This is uh, about a total of 540 grains or so. And with that being said, let's take a couple of shots here and see if we need to make any adjustments i think i've pretty well got this arrow tuned down now but uh we're gonna take a couple practice shots here and make sure that we're good to go before we hit the field pretty low again one last shot one final adjustment here this is why it's always good to check guys All right, went ahead and destroyed my target some more with this stupid broadhead. But um, like now that I've got the thing pretty well dialed in, I'm going to go grab myself a fresh knock because that one was not turning on. And I'm also going to go grab myself a fresh, uh, brand new sharpened broadhead. And we're going to go hit the field and see if we can't take out, uh, say, a pig or maybe two this evening. Who knows? I've got a group coming in pretty consistently, and it is post-front conditions. <clears throat> I hate that stupid rooster. <sighs> Post front conditions. Got a north wind. Not my favorite. Not my favorite wind to hunt with, but uh, we'll make it work and hopefully have a good time. They're coming in about 7:45. Oh my gosh. 7.45 to 8 o'clock-ish, and I'm hoping that they will continue that pattern this evening. Let's quit filming here in the backyard because of the stupid roosters, and let's... Yeah, okay. Let's just go get in the stand. Let's go get in the stand. As I'm settled in here, um, if I lose another pig to this toxic broadhead, well, I'm probably just gonna throw them away. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna be the case tonight. Uh, I've got a good setup down here, as you can see. Right there's my feeder. It's 18 yards away. I practiced for 20 this afternoon, and I'm very confident with where I'm hitting and feeling good. Um, all we, all we need is some pigs. We need some walking ballistics gel targets. Um, they are a, a great test. I promise you that. So you guys be sure that you subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Um, I am going to be doing a lot of this right here from now for the rest of the year. <laughs> um, always doing the hog 
hunting and broadhead testing and things like that so you guys make sure that you don't miss out on any of it before we get too much further into this video i want to hit you guys with the verse of the day and it comes from isaiah 25 verse 1 it says oh lord i will honor and praise your name for you are my god you do such wonderful things you planned them long ago and now you have accomplished them one of those wonderful things happens to be uh, the fact that he sent his son to die on the cross for our sins and that right there um, is one reason and is enough for us to honor and praise his name till the day that we die he is my god and for those of us that are believers he is your god and i'm thankful for all of his many wonderful things that he has done for me so with that being said now let's jump into this video Thank you Lord. <clears throat> Man, I'm still shaking a little bit so you guys will have to forgive me for my, my shakiness but uh, the boar that I shot, I'm gonna call him, um, let's see, I'm gonna call him 112, 112 pounds is what my guess is. You, you guys start taking your, your weight guesses right now down in the comments below. I want to know, we're gonna weigh this pig, I have my scale in my backpack. We're gonna weigh this pig, and then um, I will let you guys know what the actual weight is in the video to come. So, in the next video after this. These stock archery arrows seem to perform like a champ, but I can't wait to, to get down there and actually look at them. So, uh, with that being said, I'm gonna pack everything back up, and we're gonna go start looking. I'm jacked, thank you, thank you, Lord. What an awesome evening. So uh, let's take a gander here at this first arrow. I think, well actually I know it's gonna be the lights out. So guys, this is the stock archery arrow. Look at that. Look at that toxic full of mud. Wow. Oh yeah, those fletchings used to be white. <laughs> So, I have a feeling it's going to be pretty difficult finding blood here tonight. Here's another look at my setup. The 
The reason I say that is because it's been raining most of this morning and then this afternoon too. So, it may be a bit of a challenge to pick up on this blood trail, but we'll see what we can do here. Alright, I'm picking up on my first bit of blood here. There's the feeder right there. So now I've got an idea of where this hall ran. And it uh, looks like I've got really good blood. Oh look, there's one of my old arrows that snapped from shooting something. Huh, what do you know? That's crazy. I wonder what happened to the broadhead in it. That's weird. Anyway, got sidetracked. Oh yeah, there's real good blood. Very good blood. I'm impressed with this toxic broadhead so far, but um, I have a feeling that a pig that was shot ground level would not bleed the same way that a pig that this pig would because it came from an elevated position. Well, I'm uh, sitting here admiring this trail, and uh, I get to this tree, and I'm like, okay, you know that's reasonable. That looks really good. And then it keeps going, and it keeps going, and it keeps going all the way up to the top of this tree. Which, guys, this is literally, this is like shoulder level with me. And there's blood all the way up in this tree. That's eye level right there, up in this tree. This pig ran this tree over and, and literally ran over the top of it and died in the thickest stuff imaginable. So... <laughs> we have us one pig. Hey boy. Hey boy. Uh, he's good. I may be retracting my statement of one. Ooh, look at that spider. I may be retracting my statement of 112. I don't know yet. I'm thinking. Yeah, about like that. About 112, 115, somewhere around there. Uh, awesome hole there, for sure. That would be my exit. Ugh. Oh man, you are thick. You're a thick boy. You may be closer to 130. Yo, yo, turn over, turn over, turn over. No. At the tip of my boot is where that entrance is, right there. So, uh, yeah, perfect. I mean, right through the heart, looks like. Excuse you. <laughs> this is probably. Sorry, I won't blind you anymore. <laughs> this is probably going to become one of my most favorite parts about these videos. Now that I have this scale, and I've actually uh, not used it yet, but this will be my first time to use it, and I'm very excited for this. Like I mentioned in a video a while back, if somebody guesses the weight to the exact tenth I will take you out on a half day hog hunt one hog half day all inclusive at the real McCoy ranch that's what I'll do for you guys and if this becomes something that blows up and we really do a lot of this and you guys really enjoy this then maybe we'll start stepping it up to maybe like an axis or multiple pigs or multiple days of hunting. Um, we'll see though. We'll see. But if you guys want to get the, these videos to this point, I need you to share. I need you to subscribe. I need you to like and comment. Do all these things that help uh, this channel grow. And then I will greatly reward you guys with some hunts. Because this is going to be super duper fun. I promise you. No one is going to believe me when I tell you how difficult it was to get this pig hanging on the side of the buggy. But we have a weight, and I can't tell you what it is. I can get real close, but I can't tell you what it is. I wasn't far off. Let me just put it that way. So, I will give you guys that little bit of a hint. Um, I was 
closer than what I thought I was going to be. Because it's been a while since I've guessed the way to one, but you guys can get a real good look at that pig right there. Give, this picture of this view right here gives you a really good idea of kind of uh, what to go off of, but a uh, super fun evening nonetheless. I was pleased. I was pleased with the stock archery arrow. I was pleased with how the toxic head worked out. I'm glad that we didn't lose that hog. It only ran about 40, 45 yards or so in the end. Um, so very, very stoked about that. I love testing these broadheads and I love doing these videos for you guys. So if you have any other recommendations, drop them down in the comments section below. Also, again, let me know what y'all's guesses are on the, the weight of the hog because you could end up winning a hog hunt with me. But whoever is closest in this video will win some merchandise and maybe a couple other cool things as well that are hunting related. So with that being said, thank the Lord for another safe and successful hog hunt. Thank you guys so, so very much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Y'all are amazing. Be sure that you hit that subscribe button. Share this video if you enjoyed it and if you want others to be able to get in on the giveaway as well. Don't miss out on all the fun that we're having here this spring and for, you know, every week for the rest of this year. We're posting multiple videos a week, so stick with me, guys. Stay tuned, and I'll see you in just a few days. Hoping for the light of day Down to the river I have held the devil's hand Felt the weight of my own sin Burdened by the heart of man Down to the river